you're tuning in to DraftingTutorials.com, and I uh, hope you guys are having a good day. Um, in this video, I would like to cover the topic of uh, setting a line perpendicular to another line. Now, there's two ways to do this. Um, you can go down here to Object Snap, and you can type in or select perpendicular. Just select perpendicular. And for this example, I'm basically drawing out uh, the outline of a roof that's on a uh, floor plan. So, um, what I'm doing is I'm creating a roof that's got a uh, gable end and a hip end. And the easiest way to do this, <clears throat> especially when you're trying to find slopes on roofs um, and get everything squared up so that you know you've got equal distances on each side so for instance with this line here I've got it going up but I need to make sure that this line here is at the same distance as the one that's gonna uh, meet it right there in the middle now the easiest way to do that is just to find the midpoint on your roof and uh, the midpoint's right here so I'm gonna draw a line but uh, to make sure that this is perpendicular, I've got perpendicular selected right now. And as you can see, it says perpendicular, right? I could, uh, I could carry it out just like that, straight to the point, and it's perpendicular. That's one way to do it. I find sometimes, though, when you, when you use this tool, uh, it won't snap 100% uh, perpendicular. Um, especially like on really detailed drawings sometimes the the perpendicular setting doesn't work uh, so another way to to draw the perpendicular line is just to select the line select your midpoint and instead instead of doing that you could actually turn it off we'll go ahead and turn perpendicular off you can use perpendicular settings without the line actually um, using the uh, perpendicular snap so, just to show you what I'm talking about here, we'll select the midpoint, okay? Now you may notice now it doesn't say that it's perpendicular, okay? We're just going from midpoint to midpoint, which, I mean, you could do that too if you want, but uh, a shortcut for the perpendicular snap without it being actually turned on is just PER, enter, and it'll give you a little perpendicular line there and it'll state that it's perpendicular. This tends to work a lot better when you're drawing lines perpendicular to another line. So that's just a shortcut um, because your O snaps, you can use the O snap uh, for perpendicular. Again, when that's turned on, it will tell you if it's perpendicular, but you know, on more detailed drawings, um, it, it tends not to work so good. I don't know why, it's just something that I've noticed in AutoCAD is kind of a flaw. So a way to round that is to make sure it's turned off, okay? And then you're just going to draw your line. And before you draw it, type in P-E-R, enter, and it will give you that perpendicular line, uh, the snap for the perpendicular uh, setting there. So that's just a little shortcut and a little tip there for drawing perpendicular lines. That's all I have for this video. Uh, if you found it beneficial, go ahead and share and like this uh, video with others. Uh, other than that, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so because I'm shooting videos on basically reverse engineering the application software programs for AutoCAD, Revit, and Inventor. Um, I'm currently in the uh, Drafting Associates uh, Technology and Design degree and um, you know, while I'm going through this program, I'm shooting videos on some of the stuff that I'm learning. Uh, that way I could go back and use it at a later date, um, you know, especially when I get into the workforce as kind of a reference guide. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.